Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba' With the complexity of society and the complexity of the global world order, it's imperative for us to understand and have an idea of the concept of cultism, of the different forces that are pulling at uh, people and pulling at the, the actual threads and foundations of many of the world societies. And as Muslims, we must be aware of these forces and we must be aware of the characteristics of cultism and how to avoid it. So what exactly is a cult? As Hassan describes, a cult is a group of people who organize around a strong authority of figure. Cults, like many other groups, attempt to expand their influence for the purposes of power or money. However, to achieve these ends, destructive cults employ a potent mixture of influence techniques and deception to attain psychological, uh, psychological control over members and new recruits. This fundamental level of control is known alternatively as brainwashing, thought reform, or mind control. A successful induction by a destructive cult displaces a person's former identity and replaces it with a new one. That new identity may not be the one that the person would have chosen freely or freely chosen under, his, under her uh, own volition. So in accordance with, the, with what Hassan described as uh, the concept of uh, a cult and cult uh, organization is that when people are pulled together or organized around a strong authority figure and this is predominantly as, as it is known to us that there are many, many false religions and religious cults this is when people around a religious concept and often around Satanism that they call people together for some worldly purpose to in order to expand their influence uh, in power or whether it be money and they will do anything to achieve these ends for example when people involve themselves with uh, those secret societies for example that claim to have relationships with other, uh, other worldly beings for example the jinn for example the shaitan or the satan or any of the various devils and of course they usually cloak it by saying we are we have a relationship with the angels or we're just having a friendly uh, gathering with your deceased relatives or the deceased but in fact this is a deception this is a common deception in which various cults use in order to influence human beings to wor worship the shaitan. In the uh, U.S., there are approximately 3,000 various uh, cults with at least 4 million members, and they fall into four basic types. Religious cults, which we are very common, uh, uh, we are, uh, that are people most frequently associate with cults being the religious types, like we saw the gym, Jim James and, and, and various cults where the people were called to commit suicides or religious cults that claim to uh, adapt things from various different religions. Some of them they claim to have aspects of Christianity. Some even claim to have aspects of, uh, of, of Islam. For example, the Nation of Islam who adapt Masonic practices and, and other uh, uh, and other practices and they put them together to piece their own piece together their own uh, their own creed and and usually you find as with the case of the nation of Islam and a lot of these other groups that it all revs, uh, revolves around a central figure for example the nation it was around Elijah Muhammad and later and in, in this day and age it, 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 it is around based around uh, the belief that uh, Louis Farrakhan is a messenger and this these type of ideologies the people will sacrifice their wealth they'll sacrifice their property they will do anything to advance their power and position and to maintain the influence of that cult and in order to maintain the status of their leader and as
as uh, Hassan had mentioned, the fundamental level of control with a lot of these cults is brainwashing through thought reform to creating a cult or a, a, a culture personality, as they say, as a a a, a pers- personality which is re- reflected in the cult. That the the cult itself or the individual has a role in the cult into which they believe that whatever happens to them is in effect uh, is in relation to the group. Anything that happens, any persecution they receive, or any person ca- persecution which is directed towards a group is in fact in- directed towards the individual because they are one and the same. There are also psychological and enlightenment cults like the self-help movements which they offer expensive uh, enlightenment workshops on how to be positive, how to be happy, how to get, uh, you know, how, how to increase your influence, how to be a, an excellent speaker, and so forth. They also have cults which are uh, revolve around uh, c- the commercial interests, for example, the, those pyramid schemes and multi level marketing and organizations. And then you have political cults, people who are so, uh, so entrenched in political dogma like the Nazis and even some people in the left in the right wing in American politics and in the other po- political uh, cultures and political uh, on the political spectrums in different societies that the people involve themselves to such a degree in their hizb, in their party in their sect in their group that it becomes a cult and, and in fact a, 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 a type of religion some people they worship democracy or at least their ideology which they claim to be democratic so much so that they will enforce and kill others in the name of freeing them in the name of creating a democratic environment in the name of establishing a, a, their political system which allows for anything to prosper as long as it doesn't contra- contradict their values and their ideology so this can also develop into a cult what does what is the difference between cult and an established religion well for one an established religion of course first and foremost being the religion of the prophets alayhim after salatu wasalam which is islam and that being what the children of israel what they followed the followers of jesus the followers of moses followers of abraham and the followers that preceded them what they follow they follow the deen al hanifiya you know they follow the pure religion which called to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so a cult uh, so a religion that especially a true religion like Islam is calling you to none other than to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship the one who created everything the creator of the heavens and earth and to follow the example of the prophets alayhim after salatu wa salam and first and foremost being the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he was the last prophet and messenger uh, sent to all of mankind so this distinguishes a religion from a cult a cult is around uh, revolves around personalities and is around worldly uh worldly you know bringing about worldly gain for people money power position so they will do anything to gain and achieve those ends where is religion especially the religion of Islam is around is following the verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me so that it is a rather altruistic um, uh, goal that the Muslim has because the Muslim is worshipping his Lord his or her Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala alone trying in order to gain paradise but not in order to gain a worldly gain and position the Muslim does not call to his his self and call to his personality and call to his or her uh, in, in order to gain status or his or her group or sect but rather the Muslim calls to the uh, pureness of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so this distinguishes Islam uh, and the path of the Muslim from the path of the shayateen the path of the devils who try to gain only worldly position 
and they will find that the worldly position and the worldly status, even if they had it, that they will only attain that and only have that for a minute. Where is Islam, we're talking about everlasting peace, everlasting happiness. When the person uh, sacrifices their, their ego and their desires in this life in order to gain the hereafter, then they're, they're asking for everlasting uh, paradise and they're asking for everlasting pleasure in the hereafter. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from following anything which is other than Islam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with guidance. And anything I said correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.